It's me again, the pumpkin fan. And I have brought another wonderfully terrible movie that I hope we can watch together. It's an alien invasion movie from 1967 and it was released by American International Pictures straight to the syndicated television market, a true mark of quality. It's also a remake of another wonderfully terrible Invasion of the Saucer Man. It's directed by the self-proclaimed schlockmeister, Larry Buchanan, and stars John Ashley, best known for his role as a singer in Zero Hour. I do hope you survive the attack of VVI creatures here on Shocking Theory. Must be important documents in there for it to be handcuffed. Or he's just really kinky with his briefcase. We may never know. Ah, you know, there's a lot of security for this dentist's office. That man, that large man right there, is a regular in Larry Buchanan movies. You'll see him often. Oh, looks like you're in time for chemistry class. You know, I think that paper is slightly psychic. What's in the case? Oh, I thought it was Marcellus Wallace's soul. You know, this is the strangest pizza delivery I've ever seen. Here's your receipt. I don't need to now, now, you better keep that in case you need to make a return. No. I realize that civilization itself may depend on it. But it was that in the center of his forehead. Not the scar, the, the lighter patch. Sergeant, send that Lieutenant Robertson from Security Sector 3 in here. Azalea Pictures presents. Is it giving me a present? I like presents. Oh, this is thrilling. Winding up a projector. He was also on um, Frankie Avalon's second banana in his beach party movies. None of these other people are really all that well known. Now he's on his way to the dentist's office. Must be his turn for the appointment. I think somebody was trying to sneak in some clever shots. Sir, Lieutenant Robertson reporting his orders. Sit down. Uh, here's my homework. I, I think you're going to get a B minus on this. Sector 3 has not been cleared for receipt of materials on Project Visitors. So I'll have to give you a verbal briefing for relay to Colonel Harrison. Right. When the do people knock on the door, you're supposed to let them in. We're going to have coffee, cake, and tea. Now, due to certain events which I'm not at liberty to disclose, we feel that Sector 3 will be the probable place for the next contact. Mm -hmm. Pay close attention to the information recorded on this film. It was prepared by L section of our UFO division. This latest military film concerning Project Visitors was a oh, remote-controlled high altitude a dance party. As well as from ground tracking stations. The latest ship sighted was of a completely unfamiliar design and came under
under hyper radar and infrared surveillance at 2300 hours yesterday. The at least we get a dance party in the you know, beginning of the movie. States remote meteorological laboratory in orbit 15CX. No attempt at communication was made. The orbiting object then resumed its Earth intercept course at a rocky point along the Sierra Madre in the western portion of the United States. The ship then set a low altitude course to the east at an extremely low rate of speed. The official evaluation of headquarters command is that the space vehicle is probably manned. Will affect the surface. Well, it looks like there's just the many people in the space vehicle and they're rocking out. Absolutely no public information be released at this time to prevent a probable worldwide panic. Infrared scanners lost contact with the vehicle over the central United States in the general area of security sector six. Oh, uh -huh. I was enjoying the dance party in the middle of chemistry class. All right, Lieutenant, your transportation's waiting. You should be back in your sector within an hour. You're going by dirigible. You tell Colonel Harrison that I want those infrared going in style. Twenty-four hours a day, and that's an order. Yes, sir. Take off. What? He's a plane? I thought he was a person. Moving body. Get it on the scanner. Um, well, it doesn't look like they're moving. Or bodies. Why are you watching a parking lot? Scan. Yes, sir, sir. Hey, it's me! Are they watching me? Oh, no. Carol, somehow I have a feeling that... that... Oh, that we're being watched. Um... Oh, crap. They noticed us, guys. They noticed us. They noticed us. We, we better get out of here. Ah! I can't... Uh, Uh, it's not me. Oh, I truly admire science. All right, Sergeant. What the? Nothing, sir. Um, uh, definitely not in his pants. That means you're playing peeping Tom. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. right, sir. Culver, how many times have you been busted for pulling shenanigans just like that? You mean this year, sir? Uh, I'm I'm gonna bet just twelve this year. Three times, sir. We're here for a reason. A reason important to the national security, and don't ever forget it. No, sir. No, sir. We're here to watch the skies and not the skylines, right? Right, sir. Uh, you're ever so right, sir. Bad things are going on up there, right? Right, sir. Uh, right. Uh, what kind of things, sir? Never you mind. You're here to watch the sky and not the skyline, right? Oh boy, are you ever right, sir? Uh, right, sir. Now that that's established, let's take a look and see how the infra scanners work. So they're all pervs. Now, now, now why are these thirty-year-olds pretending to be teenagers? How about that, pussy kid? Yeah. How about that? I think I may make Harold my hero. Well, back to business. I have just got to look that girl up when I get into town. But how will you find her? I'd recognize her eyes. Uh, she's a teenager, sir. You, Corporal. The place most of these kids end up is the, the pokey. Of course not. They're good kids. They end up at the terrace at the lake. Not that I go to places like that myself. Oh, heaven forbid. But I've heard of it. Uh -huh. Whatever the lieutenant says, uh, sir. Yes, sir. I'm with him, sir. Yeah, you're all curving your teenagers. Got it. I should be kicked out of the military for that. Mm. 
Now you're moving to the beat. How can you call this dancing? No, that's different tempos. Could you tell me how to get to first base with you tonight? Maybe he should get five for that one. Well, at least I tried. Not, 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 not for just trying to pick up, pick her up, but just, just for the teasing is about the line. That line was just very sharp like cheddar. Let's go home. I'm bush. Cheddar and potato soup. Oh, a nice cold day. So you gonna play baseball at the fairgrounds? Lovely. Look at directions tonight. Go take a drive and see what I can pick up. Fast chance. Remember the car is half mine, so drive carefully. You're half the front seat. I won't be using your half much tonight. Oh, big lover. Oh, mouth, no action. Want to lift back to the boarding house? No, I want to walk off my great expectations. His hangover. It was a dark and stormy middle afternoon. 2 p.m. to be precise. Those two should really should be kicked out. The United States military is no place for... Oh, look, okay, I got it there. It is the military. Oh, somebody's stuck in a Dutch angle. Let's make a note of that. Somebody's stuck in another Dutch angle. Oh, another one. You know, you know why he looks like that? He saw some stuff back in the war. Stuff that would make people pale, paler than they are. Paler than my hands. Well, how's your recruiting coming along, Lieutenant? Not bad. <laughs> hey, why don't you uh, Shanghai a couple of them? Are you kidding? <laughs> Wonder what they're jabbering about. Well, yeah, he's not having flashbacks to the war. Jim just saw a spaceship. What war? I don't know. He just saw sitting in the war. He was actually made at eight. Speaking of uh eight. Eight? Eaten. So that's what he is. Eaten. He was actually meted out of the military. On a section eight. Just kidding about seeing a spaceship, Lieutenant. Everyone knows there's no such thing. How many times do we have to deny it before people will believe us? Well, excuse me. Uh, um, Better watch do I have to count? Because I don't want to count right now. Man, I'm booked for dragging me in feet first. Why don't you have a date with Susan tonight? I do. I'm picking up at 9.30. She's uh, fussing with a new dress. But it's all we know you're waiting for old man to get out of the house. What kind of dress takes that long to get into? 
I've got to admit, Susan's got a lot of the right things and put in the right places. Yeah. And they're all mine. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> right, we'll see. It's the middle of the day again. So this must be day three. I mean, this movie was filmed in Texas, and it is a big place. It probably takes like years to get to, to get to, to, to get from one part of town to the other. Texas is a mysterious place. Now back to tonight. Here's our, now we're on day four. I'll fix them. Are, are they broken, sir? Mm, I don't know what a gun could fix. Brian, is he gonna pull down his pants? Please don't do that, sir. The young kids who could be watching. And Twitch changed the terms of service service back, so we can't do that anymore. Take it easy. Not so fast. I didn't even get a chance to participate in the topless meta. It's disappointing. I wanted to participate in the topless meta. I'm gonna have taken my head off. Just for you. Hey, coming up here was a great idea. The gang doesn't suspect a thing. And we'll be back before they even miss it. Oh, no more sneaking up here to be alone. And no more outsmarting your father. I mean, he is the city attorney. Told you. Okay. That'll make it official. Oh my god, it's my father. You had my father in your pocket the whole time? Yeah, it's bad luck to have her father in your pocket, sir. Ah! Why? What are they having? A night ball game? Hey, let's not attract attention. Turn them off! We are on old man Bailey's property, and I don't think the police like us up here. Yeah, and I can see your father helping me tonight of all nights. <laughs> Be careful. I hate to run into the old man Bailey. Hey, I can drive this road blindfolded. He's had enough practice. Uh, he has? Is he a daredevil? He's a daredevil. Wow. Mike! Mike, we've made it! At last we've hit the jackpot! Oh, turn off that light, you bum! Wake up, I said! Mike, we've got it made. We're millionaires. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go to bed. But this is different. It's big. Oh. Yes. Now look. Yes, it's totally big. Go, bitch, but get this. You and me are going to put on a I'm not saying what is big. With the first Tom Hanks is big. Tom Hanks was you. in big. Then we made a lot of money. Well, I've seen one, just like all these jokers have been saying. You know, and glow sort of this role would have been better performed by Art Cold Jr. Like, like that. Oh, like that, huh? Yeah. And it landed over somewhere near that old house that's supposed to be haunted. Now yeah, that's what I'm like every time somebody wait, tries to wake me up, telling me they saw a flying saucer. Aliens don't travel in saucers. They travel in vast navy spaceships. Or on space whales. Oh, or in rockets. But when I'm rolling in the dough, don't say that I did.
didn't invite you in. Oh, he's gonna open a bakery. Okay. You're invited out. I'll handle it myself. Go on. Go back to sleep. sleep Might be a good idea. He looked really tired. He drank quite a bit. Can you at least turn the light back off? Dude, turn... Yeah, now, now you're in his apartment. Why are these blasted alarms always at night? About this so-called spaceship of yours. Just where do you think it is? From what these kids said, it must be somewhere northeast of town. Well, that checks with the last report we had from the radar station. I assume your man had it on the scope. And we yes, they totally did. Um, they totally weren't watching teenagers necking. Really scooped totally not. Scoop, did you say? Just the figures. Speech, sir. Well, I hope so. Lieutenant, there's just one thing I want to caution you about. Yes, sir. Um, a, a crossing when, when there's traffic. That's very dangerous. You don't want to do that. Our job is to prevent a possible... You also do not want to drink bleach. That's also a bad thing. Do not drink bleach. Um, what else? Um, also, don't overcook your beans. Turns are mushy, they're not really all that tasty then. You want to you have a little crunch on your green beans. Don't, and don't have too much spice and chili if you can't handle the spice. I think I cautioned them enough. Dear Martha, these darn smoochers on me property. I got buckshot. I'm gonna shoot them up with buckshot. Right in the bucks. We wanna get there in one piece. Flags. I mean, it's only about a half a mile to the highway. Yeah, you could turn the lights back on by now. <laughs> oh, no. They hit a squirrel. Or the Easter Bunny. Oh, no. No. No, they hit the Easter Bunny. They hit the Easter Bunny. That's sad. Oh, it was a mutated bear. A radiation from the nuclear test mutated that bear. You can tell by the tumors. Oh, Sing! This is the origin story of Sing? I did not know that. What was that? The tire, the thunder must have cut him when we hit that thing. Are we stuck here? Well, we can't drive on it. We're right off the rim and I haven't got a spare. Look, we'll go to the old bailey. Uh, why, don't, why don't you have a spare? Thank you, Sing! I think this is why you shouldn't drive on uh, private property. You never know when you might hit an alien. Or a radioactive mutant bear. Which that actually looked like. I mean, you saw the tumors, right? They, they were growing out of control. And it seriously needed help. And... And... And they murdered it. They murdered that poor, poor radioactive bear. Poor bear. Never had a chance to have radioactive babies. 
And I think, I think we should just take a break and then return to the movie while, while you'll get some, some help. What are we on uh, day six, I think? Day five? I think we're on day five. I'm going with five. I, 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 I didn't set up a counter for how many days this movie takes place over. Mm. Wait, are you gonna at least knock on the door? It may be, but I got a feeling that whatever's in there is, is a lot safer than what's out here. I am not worse than that. Hello? And some of my best friends are ghosts, so, just, so don't, don't insult them, please. I wonder where he keeps the phone. I wonder if he has a phone. Come on. I like what he's done with the place. Very hoarder. Is that a mailbox? That's a mailbox in there. You're right. You can never tell what's on the other side. Hey, Dan. There's the phone on the wall. Oh, great. Now, you see, there's nothing to be afraid of. You just keep your wits about you when things begin to take on the proper perspective. Oh, you Is that a mutant bear in the, in, in the closet? There's a mutant bear in the closet. Operator, give me the police department. It's an emergency. Meanwhile, in the back of the office. Hello, uh, my name is Kenyon, Stan Kenyon. I'm out here at the old Bailey place. Yeah, yeah, go on. What's the trouble? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure, you've seen some little spacemen. I saw some spacemen earlier in the movie. They were dancing. It was lovely. If you see him again, will you uh, give him my love and tell him to go home? Well, it's Saturday night, all right. All right, all right. It's Saturday night. It was a dark and stormy early evening. Oh no! Oh no, the serial killer! The mutant bear is gonna get him! Come on, mutant bear, get him! Get him, mutant bear! Get him, mutant bear! Get him, mutant bear! Bear, 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 bear! Operator? The darn phone's dead, I guess the lightning got it. Ah! Oh, please, he Oh, okay. What are you doing in my house? <sighs> You're right, he does look like a spaceman. Hi, Mr. Bailey, we hit something with our car and we came up here to call the police. You were out. The door was open. That don't give you the right to walk in. Who was it you hit? But it wasn't a person, it, it was a thing. Oh, it was a mutant bear. It all spells people. And people spells trouble. I knew it. I knew what was going to happen if you kids didn't stay off my property. Yeah. We'll call the police, all right. The phone's dead. That's what you say. Look, we didn't kill anybody. I mean, it wasn't a person. It, it, it was a space thing, a, a monster. I know it sounds crazy. 
Quit the mutant man. You kids been drinking? Probably. No, sir. What's your name, sonny? Stan Kenyon. I worked out of Blender's gas station. Yeah, I thought I'd seen you before. We didn't hurt anything human. I took... Okay, we'll go. And you tell your friends they'd better keep off of my property. Or they'll get a backside full of rock salt. Yes, sir. Now you get... Rock salt? Is that what you're looking good with? That's gonna sting. But at least it's seasoned some. Hello, Sarah? Tell them to send some cops out here and chase these smooches off of my property. Huh? I guess they didn't ring the phone enough. Yeah. See that you do. So it's a dark and stormy sometime probably not at night because this movie is very inconsistent with the time of day it is. Now where's that girl dang alien body? I want to stuff it from my trophy room. No, well, at least he's covering it with a sheet. Mm. What is this, day six, seven, I, I, I lost count. No. He really should lock those doors. And maybe put up some signs. Private property. No smoking. This is a good Christian household. No smoking. Mike! Carl! Now listen. Listen, Mike! This time I've got proof! What is it, Carl? Now listen, Mike. I can't tell you what it is. But I swear I'm yes, it's a biblically accurate angel. I can't tell you what it is. Because I don't know what it is. It's, it's a biblically a accurate angel. Or a mutant bear. Cab and come out here. I need your help. Yeah, well, that's too bad. I, I'm going back to sleep. But Mike. But nothing. Goodbye. Mike. Don't hang up. Now listen. Do me just one favor. Clean everything out of the refrigerator. The refrigerator? Yeah. What I'm bringing home is perishable. We've got to keep it on ice. Got it, Mike? Including the shells. Pat's my boy. You won't regret it. I swear to you. He probably already regrets it. I'll be right home with it. Sure. Everything out of the refrigerator. Everything. Got it? I got it. I got it. I think he got it. No, I think that needs some more green stripes, not just at the shoulders. I think 
this mean? Maybe you should close your gate, sir. I know you have one, I saw it earlier in the movie. Oh, never mind, there's more green stripes, just dark green. Beer? Beer? Why do you not have all this beer? Crazy as he is. Yeah, maybe you should put your beer back in the fridge, I don't want your beer going bad. You really don't. What, what are you going to do? Are you going to hit it with a belt? That's not nice. No, they're not in pairs. They're, they are definitely good. Look at the accurate angels. I'm a biblically accurate pumpkin person. As we're told in the Bible. I am here to bring bad movies. And this is that one. I really like the biblically accurate angel designs. We need more rubber suited monsters in these movies. Oh, his poor wife. Who's gonna miss him? Sometimes these movies make me sad. But then I realize I'm watching a fun movie. No, oh, I think they're gonna... No? Wait, wasn't that the guy from the Big Fan Blake show? No, he was a better actor. That's the green light our jet pilots have been telling us they've seen. No, you took it, yes? Sir. Or charcoal. Notes, Lieutenant. Those things turn out to be unfriendly. You've got a point there, sir. Shall I drive closer so we can get a better look? No, let's let's stay right here. Something may be watching us right now. Airman, get me to guard headquarters on that ship. I'm, I'm not watching you. We've got some engineers right out of here and see if we can get inside those things. You think we should get some photographers, sir? Lieutenant, when you've been in the Air Force as long as I have, you'll learn you don't have to think. All you do is follow standard operating procedures. Yes, that's pretty much military right there. SOP calls for engineers, not photographers. Excuse me, sir. I've got the National Guard. Give me that plane. I'm going to report this personally. They've been walking for three months. Come on, let's see what it is. What is it? It's one of those space things alive with me. What's making that noise? He's banging away at the fender of the car with some kind of a hammer. Oh, let's get out of here. I'm with you. Yeah, I want to get out of here too. You okay? Yeah. Oh, how much further? Just about another quarter of a mile. Right, I just want to figure out what time it is. I want to go someplace with the clock. These shoes weren't meant for plowed fields. I know, honey, but believe me. And those shoes were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these shoes are gonna walk all over you. Come on, let's go back there. The police will take care of those things. Um, are you sure about that? Uh, 
L'Oreal? What what does the hearse say, L'Oreal? Oh, Neil, that. That's what it was. Okay, now let's have this again. You say you were driving along without your lights? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It didn't have anything to do with it. See, just suddenly... Yes, it totally didn't have anything to do with anything at all. Kids, before I take you down to headquarters, I want you to do something for me, okay? Sure. See this nice little balloon? Well, I want you to blow it up. A balloon? Mm -hmm. What for? Are we gonna have a party? Never mind, just blow. Hey, come on, look, we're wasting time now. Aren't you gonna do anything about the spaceman? It, it may be a whole invasion. Blow, I said! <laughs> Man says blow, he means it. The balloon test, hey? Yeah. Did you ever hear of such a yes, sir. story? Space men, spaceships. Wow. In my days, we were content with pink elephants, but kids these days. And tough. The yes. Girl says to me, you don't call him the human. pink elephants, but they're not afraid. They they weren't afraid. They hadn't been a parade when he was a kid. Nowadays, hey, Mr. Detective. I'm finished. Now, can we get going, or shall I throw a little confetti around for you? You know, fella, for someone who's committed a serious crime, you are very anxious to get to the police station. A serious crime? You call killing one of those monsters a crime? Well, you could... Mm -hmm. Something or... No. I, 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 a suckster, yeah, they can be considered monsters. A drunk suckster, yeah, I say that's a monster right there. He, he's writing his latest novel. It's a, a National Writing Month. Well, this is silly. We told you what happened. Now, why don't you do something? National Lava Writing Month. Nano Rhyme Yeah, that's it. It's a confession. Now, look, you admit driving the car, don't you? I told you that. And with the lights off? Right. But that now. But that, um, but he's a sovereign citizen. He doesn't have to drive with the lights on. And killing the man is against the law in this state. Killing a man. You don't call that thing a man, do you? And I haven't even added in drunk driving yet. But when we get the balloon test back, that's another strike against you. Look, officer, my father's city attorney and I demand that you send for him right away. I'm waiting for that. Well, miss, it so happens that I know your father and he's already been sent for. He'll straighten you out all right. Look, uh, I'm not saying another word. Now, you want to try to beat it out of me, you go ahead. Beat it out of you. Never fail. Try to be nice to a young punk, and next thing you know, you're up on charges of using the third degree. What's this about the third degree? Oh, Daddy, these people are crazy. Dan and I have had a horrible time. Thought you told me you were going out with Bill Moore, not with this this roughneck. But don't you want to hear about the monster? Ah, uh, next rough. How would you know he's next rough? Now listen to me, sir. Oh, oh, that's why he doesn't want her seeing him. He, can take his medicine. he likes him. Sweet. So I'm sure, that, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's quite the age gap. I mean, you know, you're like, you know, what, 40? And he's like 30, 33, 34? But in seven years, that's a big age gap. You know, I think the aliens left their Christmas lights on. Go ahead. We have you surrounded. Come out and you will not be harmed. Those are engineers? Probably under remote control. Would you like to take a walk out there in the open and test your theory? Well, no, sir, not especially. Then shut up and start thinking of a way to explain this thing without throwing the whole nation into a complete panic. Yes, sir. Beg your pardon, sir. Maybe if we fire a few rounds at it, we'd scare someone out. Anyhow, get some reaction. All right, go ahead. Yes, sir. Now, they're just looking for an excuse to fire his gun. Getting 
Just like all military men. Lieutenant Robertson, give me a volunteer to operate an acetylene torch. We're gonna get inside this thing and see what makes it tick. Yes, sir. Finally, something to do. I swear I've seen this all before. Wait, is the military base out of us, you know, home? Sergeant Joe Tuesday. No, Sergeant Mort Tuesday. No, Sergeant Mort Tuesday. You know, this is the weirdest gender reveal I've ever been to. Well, no explosions. No, no, no earthquakes. No tornadoes. Very strange. Sir, I swear, I'm telling the truth. It, it was, it was a spaceman. I've heard enough of that. I saw it. You know who he is? Well, according to a driver's license we found on him, his name is Carl Fenton. We also found out he lives at 121 Maple Avenue. Where does he work? Well, as far as we could discover, he doesn't. He, uh, he and a friend of his kind of just drifted into town about a month ago. A friend? Yeah, a fella he was living with. We tried to call him to come down and identify yeah, his him. husband. Uh, they, 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 they were married. It was a very lovely ceremony. I was there. You mean here? I was the official. No, maybe maybe you should put a couple of police officers on them. You're lucky in one respect. The man you kill is a nobody. There's only one person who's interested in the charges against you, and that's his roommate. Daddy, I swear to you, it's Stan didn't kill anything that was. Quiet, Susan. At least Stan has the sense to listen. Now tomorrow I'll go over and talk to this Carl Fenton's roommate and see what we can do to help Stan. Come on, Susan, I'm taking you home. I won't go unless Stan goes. Don't be foolish, you're not liable. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I was driving that car. Hey, now, wait a minute. You've covered for me long enough. And now we don't get the resolution to that, do we? Dramatic. In your leopard print cap. Dun 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 Um, that could have been edited a little bit better, you know, maybe cut off a few frames. So it's just like all of a sudden, what happened? What do you suppose that was? I could care less. You know something, those things, whatever they are, they're smarter than all of us put together. Yes, think? yes they totally are. No, you were like, oh crap, we gotta get out of here because, because, because biblically accurate angels are banging on the car and they're gonna get us. I don't know. 
Unless the old guard here was a mistake. Let's get a proud car out there right away. Yes, sir. Now, what about those two kids? I've talked a little sense into their heads. It just takes a little teenage psychology. They're gone, little fools. Forget it. Well, uh, if you didn't leave him in a room with a with a unlocked door. be a comedy. Well, if you'd have been looking at your radar instead of that scanner, we wouldn't have let that spaceship slip by us. I'm looking, I'm looking. It's too late. It is kind of late. I wonder if they for forgot about us. Just look at the scope. But not too late for that date in town. Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking. But it's kind of dull, though. Blip, blip, blip. Yeah, blip. I like this movie. Should snap on the infrared uh, and take a peek at them kids naked and get us court martialed. You mean? Okay. Uh, snap on the infrared. Uh, we'll just uh, take a peek at those kids uh, in the line of business. What else? Oh. That's a, that's a sexy feature right there. What do you make of it? I think I have some weird monster film on TV. Weird. Weird monster film? Weird monster film? I am not a weird monster. I am a perfectly acceptable monster. Mm. Stupid! Have you seen this picture before? I'm not. You've got yourself a bet. Now, watch this. I don't like those two. I really don't. I still think you saw that picture before. And I tripped over a rock. Well, at least they have some use. Bashing down the fourth wall and leaving us all in the rubble. They're just like a regular sea hulk, aren't they? Well, let's take a break um, before we return to the thrilling conclusion of Attack of the Ike Pictures. Here, on Shocking Theater. I'm worried about taking this car. I would be too. No, you must add that to your sentence. I don't think the law takes kindly to murdering biblically accurate angels. Or hucksters. They could be politicians. And politicians have fam families too sometimes. I think. I, I really think you need to nail them though. Thing didn't know quite how to walk right on his fingers just yet. This was one of his early roles. Out of a box. You see anything else? Not a thing. Don't get too far away, I'm frightened. Don't be afraid, we can't do it. We just 
He's a Supreme Commander? I didn't think there was a trick in the United States military. I didn't even think he wanted to be in the military. I've lost track of how many days this was. You know, those nails are looking pretty soft. You might want to get some vitamins or something. Just strengthen the nails. Dan, this is silly. The police were all over here and they didn't find anything. Yeah, I guess you're right. We might as well go on back. Unless this whole thing is a dream, which is a polite word for a nightmare. Come on. Is this a reflex action? Well, he's never made out in the front seat of a sheriff's car. Hey, I wonder if any of the gang saw those things. What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of them out here. And if any of them saw it, that would convince the police that we're telling the truth. Do you want to bet? If the police saw it, they'd say we'd been drinking. Haven't you, though? You were at the terrace before you went on your date, but that was like a week ago. Well, it should be sober by now. Let's drive out to the point and see if any of the kids are still there. What do we got to lose? I'm sorry, Stan. I, I just can't relax. Yeah, that's what you know. This would happen tonight at all, man. Uh, why would she be frightened on her wedding night? Unless... She doesn't know what happens on wedding nights, I think. And this is where they crash into a tree and die. No? Okay. Oh, hello, Thing. I need to go closer. No, no. Thing. Thing. Thing didn't want me scooting closer. No, I, I think that's the thing. I need to find the bucket and tap it under a bucket. And one of you has to hold the bucket down. And that, would, that would work. And then you could take it to the police station. And you could show them they got a moving hand thing. And, and then they'd be like, oh, totally innocent. Totally innocent. Who'd you kill this time? He's been on the wrong side of the law before. Hello, operator? He's married to a man in the 60s. He's been on the wrong side of the law before. This is Mike Lawrence. I live at 121 Maple with my roommate Carl Fenton. Did you say Carl Fenton? Totally roommate. Your roommate was killed tonight. A hit and run victim. Killed? Hit and run? Do you know who but they left a the car there and they went to go call the cops. 
how is that, 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 that they ran? They, 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 they left the police station. But I wouldn't call that a hit and run. That's more of a, when a car hits something and then just keeps going. This was, they hit something, they stopped, they went to call the cops. It's not a hit and run. Yeah, I guess it means he's single again. I'll try to tell you something about it. Now will you come with us? I'm a nut. Yes. No. Well, it looks like he did put all the beer back in the fridge. Now, I'm not saying there is a claw, mind you. But if there is one, go and get a picture of it. He's great. <laughs> it's a hot one. What's so funny? I'm just thinking how Carl will feel when I put him on exhibition as the world's first victim of a spaceman. Well, let's get going. There was such love between them. It was truly unreal. I thought you said the police had your car. They do, this is serious. Battery's going dead. When's the last time you got some water? Whenever the filling station man asks me. Not the radiator, he needs the battery water. What's that? You mean acid? Battery acid. Okay. Not water. Come on. No, you could help out. didn't get it for that. What did you get it for? Well, the crone makes an excellent meal. Well, at least she's got muscle. No brains, but muscle. The mm, crone does make a nice mirror, but the curvature of the spotlight would really distort the face. I don't see how useful that would be as a mirror. Elvis is very sensitive. Elvis? Yeah, the gang calls her Elvis. She shakes and shimmies a lot, but she can really go. Now that was actually a good line. I approve of that line. Probably the only line that was good. I'm hosting tonight. Night, Not the spaceman. No, it's that time. I think we're like a year into this picture. It's really hard to tell. I keep shifting between um, pretending day is night, today tonight, tonight tonight, to studio tonight, today tonight, to day to day, uh, to day to year, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. But at least the camel prints look for pop, love for print, camel fly. Is it? My brain in that book.
being a part of a show like this, protecting your country from alien invaders. Think of it. Nobody but this special unit and the President of the United States know what really happened here tonight. You know, shouldn't this be like the end of the movie? I still got another 15 minutes on the timer. This top secret security business is like scratching, Colonel. Once you get started, it's hard to stop. What are you getting at, Lieutenant? Spit it out. Colonel, did it ever occur to you that there might be other things being hushed up by other units just like ours? That's where the movie should have ended. But here's what really happened. Next time on Police Squad, eye creatures become cops. The thing. You know, that's not how you pick a lock. You need like a coat hanger, not a crowbar, and that's just gently hitting it. You know, that, that, that flashing light reminds me of the red sun of Krypton. Just because it's nighttime finally, maybe. Yeah, just wait five minutes, it'll be daytime again. Well, he is capitalist. I gotta get a picture of this. Cattle, capitalism is pretty sick. Take it however you want. Well, I'll be. If it lets you live. Go on. But, well, I thought something it was right there. Oh, we think the film developed. He is a hysterical kid. Oh, and now they're out for revenge. I think she saw me. I I I, I, I have no place. To, I, I I I have no place to hide. Oh. Oh, it's just a saucer. Oh.
It disappeared like a magician. Somebody wants a better care for carb. I got the acid topped off in her battery. Now what do we do? Spotlight's getting dimmer. The battery's getting dimmer. Maybe you should give her a jump. If this was shot better, I, I feel a little more tension. You know, it's kind of remind me of the aliens from Bad Taste. That's a good movie. Directed by Peter Jackson, that one was. It was just a stress movie. Very enjoyable. He even has a couple parts in that movie. You should really watch it sometime. Now, if somebody's getting some clever shot, oh, you know, right. Now, you might want to take the camera with you. They can get the pictures developed and, and, and prove that, 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 that they were spacemen. You got at least, you at least got a picture of one. Man, I can't go another step. Got a picture of a biblically accurate angel. We should be safer for a minute anyway. Do you think they killed Mike? I don't know. I saw him pick him up and carry him away. Oh, we've got to get help. We've got to. We can't leave Mike to those, those creatures. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. What if we turned ourselves into the police? What good would that do? Well, don't you see? Once we get the police out here, we'll get them to help Mike somewhere. Hey, I got an idea. Come on. Where are we going? To, use to the police. police. He won't let us. He'll shoot us. I'll be charming. Come on. Right. Look, I'm trying to tell you, we want to give ourselves up if you'll just come out here to the Bailey place. You're not wanted anymore. Go home and sleep it off. Well, what about Carl? Well, according to the autopsy you did on him, the cause of death was uh, heart failure due to alcoholism. Well, how about the fender on my car? Now, you said that proved I hit him. Oh, you hit him all right, but only after he was dead. After? Well, the way we figured, he was drunk, and he must have ran his car off the road down the hill. We found an empty liquor bottle. In. Well, uh, I guess that's all tied up nicely. He must have managed to get out of the car and climb back up the hill, but the exertion and the liquor were just too much for his ticker, so he tossed out. And then you kids must have come along and run over his body. Well, that wraps up everything nicely. Oh, you cleared. <laughs> what about stealing your car? Don't you want us for that? Well, we will get the car back. Just don't sweat it. But we stole it just the same. Young lady, don't worry about it. Your father took care of it. Now, please, don't bother me anymore. Just go home and sleep it off. Well, that wrapped things up nicely. At least they're not America's most wanted anymore. Great. Trust Daddy. He came through again. the gang up at the hill. Oh, no. Not at a time like this. Oh, don't be silly, honey. I mean, they'll still be there. Maybe they'll help us. At least they'll believe us. What makes you think so? Because they're not like our parents, and they won't think that we're drunk or nuts or something just because we're young. Maybe you're right. 
It's worth a try. Come on. You're not young, you're 30. Uh, day 372 of this movie. Wow, well, they've been kissing forever. And the police wouldn't believe us. Back to making out. I don't think they believe you, sir. I mean, frankly, I don't. You're interrupting their necking. And now they're still in another car. And thus begins their life of crime. They become a regular Bonnie and Clyde. They both died in the shootout. It was quite tragic. I read it in the newspapers. That's the last to see of the military. They added so much to this movie. They were heading for this clearing where there used to be an ice plant, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it. Okay, now turn your lights off. Now look, when we get up there, we surround the clearing. Once everybody gets in position, then I'll blow the horn, like this. That'll be a signal for everybody to turn their lights on. You got it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's go. So, are you going to get your car back now that you're clear? Now the lights are off, I wonder who they're going to hit next. And is Harold helping him? Uh, which one's Harold's car? I hope Harold's helping them. The dramatic parking scene. It's so dramatic. And mysterious because we can't see anything. You know, if bright light's killing them, then why didn't they die in the 380 other days that we had in this movie? What happened? Where am I? You're all right. They had you. But we burned them up. I think we, we were all right. I don't believe we that we got them. But how did I get here? Where am I? Don't you remember? There were spacemen? I don't remember any spacemen. Hey, it's old man Bailey. Man, when he fires that cannon, he means business. Let's get out of here. You know, I bet that nobody will ever believe us. Of course not. Why should they? After all, we're just a couple of crazy kids. Who are 33 years old. But what if they come again? What if there are more of them around right 
What, 33 year olds? Well, there's probably plenty of 33 year olds around. Like you. We can see the car. I just have to be my best man. And Cheryl can be my maid of honor. Hey man, have you flipped your tracks? I just got back on it. Well, now they're on um, the bright light of the moon. Oh, it's, 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 it's over. <sighs> Light. Light is what killed the monsters. That and young love. I hope you enjoyed tonight's movie. Despite what I may have said, I did. But then again, I enjoyed the strangest things. Next week, I'll try to find something even better to show you. Until then, I do hope that you have a wonderful week and you can find some time to do something that you truly, truly enjoy. Or at least something that relaxes you. And just know that your pumpkin friend enjoyed spending time with you tonight. Bye bye.